In this video, we will discuss Dashboard Database Writeback using InfoBurst and SAP Dashboards or Excelsius. We will look at how to capture dashboard data and write that data to a database using InfoBurst. We will also review various ways to use Database Writeback in a dashboard solution. Let's start with a workflow diagram. The dashboard is developed using an InfoBurst Database Writeback connector that is configured to capture data in the dashboard. When the connector is triggered, it executes a SQL query in InfoBurst which takes the captured data and writes it back to a database table. This first scenario uses database writeback to capture dashboard user input. In InfoBurst, we start with the database connection. The connection contains an insert query that will update a table with data from the dashboard. Notice the query contains parameters. Each parameter represents a different input field in the dashboard. In the dashboard designer, we have added some input boxes that will receive dashboard viewer comments. Each input box is mapped to a different labeled cell. The InfoBurst writeback connector is then added to the dashboard. It is configured to use the database connection and insert query we saw earlier. It is then configured to read the input cells. Let's now preview and see right back in action. We fill in the user input fields. And a comment. and submit. Now upon submit, the write back connector is triggered, which reads the input cells, which then triggers our insert query and writes this information back to the database. Now this dashboard also uses a real-time database query connector to pull in comments from the database table and display them in this grid. So here we can see this latest comment displayed in the dashboard. Another use for writeback is saving dashboard scenarios. The dashboard user would navigate to a desired scenario. Writeback would be used to capture and name the scenario. At a later time, the dashboard viewer could navigate from scratch or load one of their saved scenarios. Within the dashboard, the user would navigate to the desired scenario, then name the scenario and save that scenario, where the scenario details and scenario name are written back to a database table. Then, when the user views the dashboard at a later time, using dashboard security, the dashboard would detect the user's identity and then display saved scenarios specific to that user.